Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the recoil starter pulley in your hedge trimmer, make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. To reduce the chance of injury, we recommend keeping the blade cover on for this procedure. Use a T27 Torx bit to unthread the screws to release the recoil starter and housing. Secure the starter rope, then untie the knot at the end and remove the handle. Now hold the recoil starter pulley and slowly release the tension on the spring. Use a Phillips head or a flathead screwdriver to unthread the screw securing the starter pulley. Carefully remove the pulley so the rewind spring stays in place underneath. Be aware the spring can cause injury, so use eye protection during this step. Unwind the starter rope from the pulley. Untie the knot to fully remove the rope from the old pulley. You're now ready to install the new recoil starter pulley. Thread one end of the starter rope through the hole in the pulley. Tie a knot at the end of the rope to secure. With the knot facing down, wind the rope counterclockwise around the pulley. Keeping the end of the rope secured in the notch, align the pulley and rotate it clockwise until the pulley sets into place. Then rotate counterclockwise until the spring catches onto the pulley tab. Hold the pulley as you secure the screw. Now rotate the pulley counterclockwise approximately three or four times to put tension on the spring. Align the notch in the pulley with the hole in the starter housing and feed the rope through the housing. Insert the end of the rope through the handle and tie a knot to secure. Make sure the knot is seated in the handle and confirm that the recoil assembly rotates freely. Realign the recoil starter housing on the lower housing. Then thread and tighten the screws to secure. The screws with the larger threads go in the bottom. With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and your hedge trimmer should be ready for use.